Off Day, and welcome to another episode of The Side Quest. Today's beer is also going to be from Illinois. I think it is from Schiller Park, Illinois, and it's called Pecan Pie by Short Fuse. Now, this beer was also provided by Jimmy, and I'm actually coming up to the end of all the Side Quest beers that I'm going to be drinking from him. I think I have maybe two left, and the other two or three are going to be used for brew quest episodes because they are uh they fill a style rep representative style yeah i'm gonna use them for brew quest episodes but i'm coming up on the end of the beers from the trade we had a few months uh, a few months ago and i uh, can't wait to finish all these beers so today's beer is an imperial brown ale with pecans and vanilla it is made by short fuse brewing company out of schiller park illinois it is 10% ABV and 60 IBUs. And they have like a little description on the back and their description says, pecan pie. We took a traditional imperial brown ale and turned that bad boy upside down. First, we added graham flour and pecans to the mash. Then we let it age on some vanilla beans to get a nice scoop of vanilla flavors on the top. The results is so good, grandma would be proud of. So this is gonna be a little Interesting. The last imperial brown ale, or last brown ale, I think it was English style brown ale, was the Nut Brown by Alesmith. That was one of my earlier uh, Brew Quest episodes. So this is interesting. This is, a, this is my second brown ale, I think, that I've ever had. So I hope it's good. I'm going to pour it out. And let's taste it, let's smell it, and I'll see you right after this. As you can tell, I mean, if you look at it right now, it's still a little bit ahead. Kind of looks kind of weird in the middle. Smaller bubbles in the middle, but the bigger bubbles are on the outside. I think, I don't know what the carbonation is on this thing, but I guess there's a lot. And there is no bottled on date anywhere. So I don't know if this is like too old or not, but let's hope it tastes pretty good. So just take a look at this beer. It's still a nice brownish, reddish color when I hold it up to the light. It's not cloudy at all. I think it's just dark. That's the reason why you can't really see through it. Uh, but when I put it up against the light, I can kind of see through the whole thing. So uh, it's not hazy or anything. Uh, looks good. Nice color. But let's give this a smell. I'm not getting any like of the multi multi aromas that you usually get like out of a stout or a porter. I am getting a lot of alcohol though. Like uh, the alcohol smells really high for me, and I'm not really getting anything else. Yeah, it's just like um, it's not like a spirit like whiskey, but you do get an alcohol smell. Uh, so let's hope it tastes better than I think it's going to be. I hope it's just not super boozy. So cheers. One, I'm not getting that pecan at all. Or if, if it's there, I can't, I can't, I don't notice it. You do get a small or a light alcohol flavor. It's not super strong. I thought it'd be stronger based on the smell. It's not. And I don't get that vanilla. Bitterness is okay. It's slightly bitter on the finish. Not too bad. And the texture, the body, the mouthfeel is good. Sort of creamy. Uh, kind of a medium. Medium body, not too thin. So that part's great. Let's see if I can get something else out of this. Nope. Nope, I don't really get anything else. It's um it's weird, like the I think the alcohol taste or that feeling on my tongue is kinda of overpowering everything else. I don't really get any of the um I don't get any of the pecans, I don't get any of the vanilla. And I don't get like the same taste I would get out of a regular, like an English style brown ale, like that Nut Brown by Ailsmith. I don't know, it's just, just meh. Uh, but that's not to say this is, 
it's a terrible beer. It's not a bad beer. I am gonna drink it, like I uh, like I say, always finish this. Uh, but it's not something that's sort of wowing me. I was expecting a little stronger, nutty, nutty flavor, maybe with it a little hint of vanilla. But sadly, that's not it. But it is 10%, so this is gonna mess you up if you drink drink all of it. So it's a good thing I don't have anything to do tomorrow. So. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button below, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Yep, that's boozy.